Hi, I'm Anne. Recently, I had to undergo an elective surgery and I thought I should share my experience. You see, I was experiencing a lot of pain due to gallstones, so I had to have my gallbladder removed. And you can imagine just how stressed and anxious I must have been at the time. My physician referred me to the general surgeon at the hospital and I thought, well, this consultation should hopefully put my mind at ease. I heard it's a fairly common procedure, so it can't be all that bad. So I arrived at my consultation. The surgeon was very pleasant and made me feel at ease. He then started explaining the surgical procedure to me by drawing diagrams on paper. It was a lot of information to take in and the drawing was, well, let's just say it wasn't the greatest, but he was definitely doing his best. But was I really supposed to understand all that information through this drawing? Maybe I'm just not intelligent enough. He then started explaining all the risks and possible complications associated with the surgery and here's where I was starting to get just a little bit anxious. He asked me if I understood everything and not wanting to seem incompetent and waste his time, I said that I did. He then handed me a form to sign stating that I was aware of all the risks and I consent to the procedure and I signed it. He reassured me that if I had any questions or concerns, I could always reach out to him at the hospital by phone. But when I left his office, I wasn't really feeling any less anxious about the surgery than I did before the consultation. I felt like I didn't have enough time to process and reflect on the information to come up with any useful questions or voice my concerns. Of course, I trust my surgeon would do the right thing, but it left me wondering, did I really consent to something I didn't fully understand? My next step, as you might have guessed, was to do some research on the internet. There was definitely a lot more information than I could handle, but I wondered how much of this could I actually trust? As I continued my research, I realized that many conventional and innovative methods were being used out there to educate patients such as printed handouts, videos, mobile applications, and even virtual reality. This is great, but why do we not use all of these in daily practice? Patient education is a legal and ethical obligation, but research has shown that the information is very often not consistent between different care settings. And secondly, research has also shown that a lack of patient understanding increases preoperative anxiety, which is directly linked to worse postoperative outcomes. So let's explore some barriers to better patient education. We all know doctors and nurses are busy people and they try their best to accommodate the needs of their patients, but sometimes there just isn't enough time to address the concerns of every patient. So we need a more standardized and efficient way to do this. Verbal descriptions and written handouts are not always effective as they can be confusing and even more so when the patient is a non-English speaker. Well, research has shown that video-based patient education helps patients retain the information better than any other format. It left me thinking, there should be some solution out there that would solve this problem while empowering patients to make fully informed decisions about their perioperative care. There are a few mobile apps that combine video and written information, but they focus more on post-operative management and lack information on specific surgeries. And that's where the patient app comes in. Let's have a look at what it can do. It looks like the app allows patients to receive a randomized code from their doctor to access the necessary information, ensuring that patient information will not be stored. As a patient, I'll be able to follow any instructions from my doctor before a surgery, such as exercises and dietary intake. Patients will also be able to look at short videos of the procedure to better understand the process. The app has a number of features including different language settings. There is a library of information about the procedure with a section to ensure that patients understand the information. If not, I'll be able to write a question in the comments section to ask at my next appointment. This way, I won't forget any questions I have for the doctor. 
The app also has a patient review page to see if we are satisfied with the information we have received. So now, when I go back to see my doctor at the hospital, he will be able to address all my questions stored on the app, see if I truly understand all the instructions, and then I will be able to tell him if I want to go through with the operation or not. I can't wait to tell my doctor about this app, and now you can too. For more information, please visit the following links below. Thank you.